All right, I'm super excited to share to you this amazing training. It's all about Facebook marketing. A lot of people has been successfully building their businesses using this marketing strategy and we're going to talk about that on how you can do that, the basic things. And before we go and move on, uh, I'm, I'm just I just want to share about some of the challenges that most marketers are currently facing right now and one of them is being overwhelmed with everything out there you know in in terms of social media there are a lot of things that you can do there are tons of trainings that you can learn and sometimes getting a lot of information or overloading information can can lead you to, to quit and in social media you can learn about how to build your business using Facebook a video marketing or YouTube, blogging, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and learning is like eating in a restaurant or in a buffet. You can't put all the foods that you see in your plate. What you need to do is just choose and enjoy it first. So it's the same thing like when you're learning about a marketing strategy. My suggestions to you Pick up one strategy first, learn it, master it, and once you become good at it, that's the time that you can jump to another marketing strategy. But the best way for you to be able not to get overwhelmed or get overloaded of information, once you learn something, you apply it, and then teach it. It's a very um, good way of branding yourself as well, becoming an authority or as an expert, and of course, helping other people with what you know. You know, there are things that you know that some other people may not know, and the same thing as they know that you may not know. So they, it, 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 it create actually, you know, when, when you are sharing about the things that you know, it's being targeted not only for people who are looking for an opportunity, but also if you are reaching or talking to people who, who are already marketers and they have their own businesses, and if you, are, if you have this very good information that you know and you, you search them, it's a very good way of, it's just like adding value to yourself okay and next is struggling with what to say so we're gonna tackle about this but this is some of the challenges that most people are, are currently facing about they don't know how to transition their conversation to of uh, you know to, to they don't know where to, to present about their business and lack of results so if you don't have the results some people are leading this uh, things into to quit what they are doing and you need to technical skills well what I can say about this when you when when you use Facebook before you have no idea how to send a message you have no idea how to post you don't know what is notification you know you know you, you, you don't know what about um, about groups fan pages and the same thing about using your Android or iPhone, you don't know how to take pictures. So you don't need to be good before you start as, as, as a code like that. All you have to do is just start to be good at it. And as long as you are willing to learn, you, you, you are coachable, it, it will go smoothly. It, it, it is a step-by-step -step thing, but... Once you become consistent about what you are doing, if you are having a daily routine, you will have an amazing results for that. Okay, so today what you are going to learn is about finding the right people to talk to about your business. I'm gonna search. You, I'm gonna share to you on how you're gonna do that and the four foundations to recruiting in Facebook. We're going to talk also about how to open up a conversation and we will talk about what to say to your prospect. And lastly, it's about Facebook jail. We're going to talk a little bit about Facebook jail. So you may be doing it already, but you don't want to, to get thrown your account into a Facebook jail. You don't want to be, to be there in that 
place you know it's a very limited things that you can do and it can also lead your account getting blocked so we're gonna talk a little bit that later on all right so um, I have a quick questions for you before we go and starts so if you have a magic wand who do you want to work with if you can choose the people that you will hire in your company it's just like when you were doing or if you have your own business and you are doing an interview you know you're choosing to people you're asking questions to people all right so it's the same thing this is your business feed your business a multi-billion dollar business because if you don't treat like that that's the time that you, you know you can have the kind of mindset like okay I'm not gonna do it like uh, right now I'm gonna do it tomorrow so if if you, if you treat your business like a million million or billion dollar company you know you need to do it you need to work with you need to make sure that every people that you're gonna put in this position every people that you're gonna hire is those people are productive those people are trainable coachable willing to learn like they have the mindset that they will do everything just to get what they they want what just to you know to, to build their dreams just just the same as you and once you, you you have the answer for that move on and search that people also all right so finding the right prospect to talk to about your business you need to make sure you are reaching out to people who are active positive and similar interests so we're gonna talk about this later on for the four the foundations of recruiting in Facebook and um, one of them is being um, having a, a position in your profile you know it's your profile is like first impressions just just like when you are meeting someone face to face you know there's a saying like first impressions less so it's the same thing you need to make sure that your profile picture is branding you because in Facebook you don't know who who's your audience you don't know who are watching your profile it is your profile is you because people especially in social media it's really hard to build the relationship you know you don't want that people you know what you want to make sure is people will will look to the real person they want to see a real person and if you are your profile picture is something which is not you how can they trust you how can they like you ask that question how you can build a relationship how you can tell them that your opportunity is true that that you you are willing to help them if your profile picture is not you I'm not saying do not put any anything but what I'm, I'm trying to, to, to tell you is put yourself in a shoe of your prospect you want to make sure that the person you are talking to is a real genuine person and how are you gonna do that the only way if they can see they can see your picture they can see something else that you are doing doing in your in, in living you know something that they will say oh yeah this person who's reaching me out is, is not a scammer or this person who's reaching me out is, is a real person and about me sections as I've said you don't know who's watching you so if someone accidentally or someone just like passing by in your in your profile they, you want to make sure that they can see something and if they can't message you and they will see about their your about me section put something about introducing yourself your your your, your Facebook about me session is just like your resume that tells something about yourself And does your post create curiosity in your business or are you over pitching? There are tons of posts you will find here in Facebook posting about uh, about money, about or saying like I need three people who will join me or join me join my, my business opportunity right now. Now my question is if you are in the person or if you are if you will see this post will you join that person ask yourself about that and if you were doing this this 
thing right now I'm not really against about what you are doing or about this kind of thing but think about it because people join people not the company and not because of the money that you have it's all about trusting it's all about liking and it's all about knowing how real you are and you need to balance of business versus pleasure and again your account or your personal profile has been created to reach out to your friends and family only if you want to build your business you know there is also another training about this but I'm not really gonna tackle about this but just to make sure you're fully aware business when it comes about terms and conditions about Facebook you know they're letting people to build their business that's why they created fan pages or business pages so that you can you can post anything you want when it comes about your business because this is something that Facebook will not gonna let you if in case they are gonna run some some kind of uh, report about this thing they will be able to find you are using your personal account to build your business they might terminate your account so you you can see those terms and conditions also in the back office of this Facebook but make sure you are creating more curiosity than resistance and what I mean about this is if you want to build more into your business your personal account why don't you start posting pictures about your your your, your team meeting or hangout calls or something like you know people will start to think like what is he doing or what is she doing you know what does she have a job like if you're gonna post about hey I am here uh, this is the place that you know something about your lifestyle sell your lifestyle because these are what people want these are most or I think all people wants to have is about the lifestyle that they can't have and once you start posting those kind of things people will start to, to, to get curious about what you are doing they're gonna start asking you they're gonna start reaching out to you it's just like you're 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 attracting those people to see what you can offer by posting what you are doing and what lifestyle you have right now because of the success that your company or your, your the success of what you are doing right now all right okay so after you position your profile let's go about dig deeper about targeting your ideal prospect and initial message so once you target the person you would like to reach out you need to make sure they are active in in their Facebook account take a look browse check something in common and make sure that they just posted like like recently only you don't want to reach out to people that um, you know they're posted like a year two years or three years ago and it's more than positive as I've said you want to make sure about these things and don't reach out to people or who are very negative and very argumentative and if you're leading with your products or opportunity you know there are a lot of ways how you can you can reach out to people let's say you're gonna lead with your products try to to engage or search people who likes about health about beauty or whatever your products or your 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 business with right now so go engage with those people share what you know of course you know something that your product can definitely help them out so if you can share some value or additional information this will help you to get notified this will help you to get more attract or to attract more people it, it's also another way of branding yourself because you know something I believe that there is always things that I know that you know and the things that you know that I don't so something something like that okay <laughs> okay all right so graph search it's a very very powerful tools you can or features that you can use to look for people by countries by groups by fan pages so if you have no idea how to use this one I created a training this one you can just take a look at this in in my YouTube account but grab search is a, a search 
bar in your Facebook account is in the left top side so so you can you can find people to reach out using this uh, features and you need to pick people who have the same passion as you do like what I've said so you need to have something in common so it's gonna be more easy to build trust and because once people know like and trust you that's more easy for you to to build and have a good friends with them and know what their pain is so once you, you decided whom you're gonna reach out so that's the time that we are going to set up for your initial contact or the message that you're gonna you're you're going to, to send to them okay so now you might be thinking right now like hey what I'm gonna be doing so I found a person right now I want to reach out so I don't know what to say so always and always make sure that once you reach out to people use their first name and why is that you don't want your message be like so generic like a spam message by by calling or by by you know messaging a person by their name it it feels more sincere it feels like more personal message it's not like a copy a copy and paste message only it's not like a one-time send message only all right but once you when when you are using names make sure if you are using a script but make sure that you need to to, to, to check the name because it's it, it can happen that uh, sending a, a name to to a lady or and, and naming them in a in a in a man's name so you don't want that as well all right okay so um, of course you need to let them know why you are messaging them and once you use their name and you tell them the reason why you're messaging them give them compliment now see see that's the reason why I am telling you that you need to browse the, the the profile of the person you're trying to reach out because you want to say something or you, you you want to give compliments that is really genuine if you like about the profile picture about the person if you like about their cover photos about their post that will help you to you know it's just like you are doing your homework before before reaching out to people and and your message with a question so it's the same thing like if you are having a conversation to a person as long as there's a questions there will always have a conversation so once you you let your your message with the questions it's it's having more um it's it's like there's a high chance of getting a message or, or a reply to that person because you ask them a question okay so he um if you are opening up a conversation these are some of the, the scripts or the the message that i'm using and just take a look at the message i'm not saying you can use this one but i'm not saying that um you know just get the concept of what i am i, I have in here you, you can construct your own sentences all right so just just get the concept of this one so here's one of them so hi um in the name of the person that you would like to reach out i saw your profile while i was on if you are reaching out to a person with a mutual friends okay and i saw your you're from in the location and that's awesome i want to be connected like connecting to other professionals also what exactly do you do so that creates curiosity for that you are curious about what they're doing then and then ending with have a great day and of course your name another thing or another example that I'm using is if I am reaching out to groups and I'm, of course uh, I'm using their first name again and the message goes like I was looking over the members of the marketing group and came across your profile I'm messaging you because I enjoy connecting with others locally who are in the um, others locally or in the industry that profile pic is awesome are you originally from and the location also so think about the questions that you will you will ask them that you know it can lead you for getting a response back and another example is about fan pages so hey um i found your profile while i was on the fan page of at any profile uh, fan page that you are um looking and looks like you're a fan of the secret me too it's so nice to meet someone who invests in in themselves what is your 
favorite personal development book have a great day and of course your name so with this example um, scripts that I am using I am getting um, most of the time I'm getting a response back most of the time that's the time that uh, um, I have a very or ending with a very good conversation to those people because I don't sound peachy I don't I don't just position myself as you know I don't sound aggressive or looking for people who have the oppor uh, looking for opportunity already so this way I am looking for people to have friends first and finding what their needs and later on position myself as a solution provider so once the prospect responds um, that's the time that you are going to engage with them so this is a very good one because you ask their question and their response back and always remember people will join you not because of your company it's the same reason why you join your your business right now because you um, the reason you join your business is because you know the person, you like the person, you trust the person. And of course, are you asking the right questions to them? It's it's not all about you. It's all about them. What I my suggestion to you is become interested, become interesting. Okay? So this way when when you are when you are asking the right questions it's just like like what I said when you are building or hiring people you need to to get more information about them if they are going to be fit in what you do or not because you don't want to waste your time to talk to people who are not looking for an opportunity who are not interested in what you are doing so you need to to have or to ask the right questions and that's the only way you can find out if they will like what you can offer or not okay and how do you distinguish yourself from the billions of people on social media again there are tons of network marketers or marketers out there and what they are doing make sure is not the thing that is not the same as what you are doing you need to be unique you know you need to be different sometimes difference is better than better think and ask yourself how you can be different from them if most of the people are pitching about their business how can you be not one of them because people are so negative when it comes about network marketing so once you you, you distinguish yourself on how you become a unique or, or, or different from them that's more easy for you to build your business it's just like when you are using a stra attraction marketing strategy like your being a solution provider you are attracting people you're finding what their needs it's something you are getting or being different from the common network marketers out there all right so I hope this uh, you are getting value from 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 this right now and last thing is about do they know like and trust you like what I said people join people not the company so make sure that they know they like and they trust you and are you a crumb a coming across as an expert or, or authority if you're reaching out to people and find out that they have their business already you know you don't want to keep pushing your business or asking them to join your business because your your compensation plan is better than what they have your products better in, in what they have try to be respectful to what they have already and what my suggestion is if you know like what I said if you know something about marketing strategy if you know something then try to to share what you know it's a great way of building good relationship to those people if it's a great way of, of branding you attracting people because you are helping them out to build also their business and at the end of the day it's you who will get benefits for that and how are you gonna benefit from that because these people might start or may start to think that you are being more supportive than their offlines that they're getting more support from you from their community and that's the time that you know when when the time that they are not getting that enough results from what they are doing or from the people who are surrounding them they're gonna decide to join you or your company 
to join your business because of the things that you have helped them or you know it's it's a way of advertising yourself as well like they are saying oh this guy um, helped me a lot of, of, of building my business despite of not being in the same company and it may be also something that you you know you may offer to them maybe not because of your uh, maybe not your opportunity or your business offer but something a training or, or an affiliate uh, marketing that you can offer them and they might join you there because they they know they trust or or because you help them out all right okay is, is this helpful is this making sense all right cool okay so um, number four is be a solution provider as I've said once you find their pain is that's your chance to be an expert or a solution provider so here's a sample one once I find um, that there is something like if I'm talking to a person who are, who is not happy in what they are doing in their lifestyle or is not happy um, they have something or pain um, I'm just saying that based on you've shared with me I think you may want to take a look at what I do we've helped a lot of people in your situation see it's more easy for you to to use their pain to, to position your opportunity as 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 a solution to their problems I'm not sure if the business is a fit for you but I think you you love the products and if not no big deal let me know so with this one actually um, it, it will makes you as as you know this with deals your your having a posture in, in what you're saying or in what you're doing because having a posture is a key to everything um, it's just having a, a kind of profound belief in what you are doing that you know you don't need any approval from other people or acceptance and just you are hundred percent sure in, in what you do and you don't care about what what they think and you don't need to convince anyone it's just a choice if they like it see see like what I said if you if it's for you it's it's good if it's not no big deal okay so um, another one is I can share to you what I do if you want to check it out if this is deals with the opportunity if not no big deal but I think it will really help you out uh, based on our conversation or like like what I said like uh, as you share to me that you you don't have time with your family I can definitely share to you what I'm doing and if this is something that which is good for you, that would be that would be great. I can definitely help you out with that. I can you know I can provide all the support that you will need. But if it's not, no problem, no big deal. Because after you see after you you build the conversation to them, you build a relationship to them, and once you find out that they're not going to join your 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 opportunity, you don't want you know you don't want to lose whatever you you build or foundation you build already there you still want to, to you know to have a good relationship to that person because they might not need what your opportunity right now but soon they will that's that's the good thing about being a solution provider because you can offer something for them and that's also a good thing about looking for qualified people so that you can save a lot of your time all right okay so um, once they've said yes to that um, ask the permission to send your presentation do not just send your links out there because no one is going to look at it unless you ask them they, they you don't they, they're gonna think that you know it's just a, a spam what you are sending but once you ask their permissions you know this is something like um, unsolicited links so you need to, to to once you ask their permission it is it's getting a high chance of watching your presentation and you've been hearing this if I would you and when so it's it's a very powerful because you are asking if they if you are going to share your opportunity if they would like to watch it and when they're gonna watch it so that you can you know you can guide them and if they said yes get the confirmation to follow up and what when it comes about following up um, 
always asks about what did you like versus what do you think. You don't want to say uh, what do you think because what they will answer or they might answer to you is yeah it's okay but when you are asking about what did you like about what you saw or what you saw, what what do you like about the, the things that that I've shared to you they're gonna th it's, it's about checking their understanding also you can you can check if they really watched the video or the presentation that you've shared to them and if they're gonna talk about um, things that they like share more information if it's all about the products share more information about the products and if it's all about the compensation plan then they then tell something about the compensation plan just like hey, yeah I, I love the product as well I've been using the products for for quite some time right now and I've seen the results but if you are new about your company right now use a third party like um, I, I'm, I'm be honest with them that I'm really new about what I'm doing right now, I've just tried the product for for a week, but you know this person, of course, when he comes about your products, there are a lot of testimonials or people who have the results, and of course, it's the same thing about your compensation plan. Um, if you're new, you can say to them, um, I'm, "I'm very new about what I'm doing right now, but I have my mentor right now who got." who gets their paychecks every Friday and that's my goal as well and you can you know you can call a third party with that or you can call your 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 mentor your upline to you know to 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 get more information and to, to help you out also about closing the people that you are talking to all right because with doing this one it definitely clears confusions you can also point out the things that your prospect that not be able to understand about what they what they watch in your in your presentation so you can address all their concerns as well all right okay so uh let's talk about facebook uh the five ways on how to get your account in facebook jail one of them is sending messages to other people that you don't know so if you keep sending messages to people um Especially if you don't have any mutual friends, it's possible or it's not possible actually. It's going to your your message may send to the other folders. So if you are using your your laptop or your computer, you will find next to your messages um, there there are message about the other folders, which is just like this what you are seeing in this in your screen right now. So um, if the person you are reaching out and not not responding responding back to you it's it's possible that your message has been sent already to the to the other folder and one way or one of the reason also that this will lead your account getting thrown is people can report you once they click your message and go to actions um, they can report spam or abuse so it will take some um, it takes a little heat only and once the once Facebook get notified about uh, reports about your message it can lead your account getting blocked or suspended and you don't want to do that as I've said a while back another thing is about using your Facebook features too fast so make sure that you, you know you are a lot of people are doing multitasking opening a lot of tabs and do it slowly because if you are doing it very fast and again it's it's hitting the your account in, in Facebook they're getting notified and you will have or you will exceed the limits and it can also uh, spend your account next is requesting friends that you don't know so if you keep sending uh, friend requests I know you are trying to be friendly but make sure like what I said before you send a message uh, before you send a friend request make sure you reach out to that person first uh, as you know they will think that um, you're, you're a real person and it's just like you don't want to be friends with someone else like hey I can, can I be your friends or someone like just going to knock your door and, and will say hey I want to be your friend so send a message first before reaching out to a person or if you are sending uh, sending a Facebook uh, friend request make sure that you're not gonna limit about 5 to 10 in a day because once you, 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 you do that Facebook is getting notified also and you are also getting notified that hey you are sending a lot of friend requests right now so if you do that 
so it can also lead your account and the person that you are sending if they don't know you maybe what they can do is you can see like there's a confirm button and ignore every time they hit ignore it can you know every time they press this ignore button it can lead your account also for forgetting block because they don't know you so Facebook still getting notified for that so be careful and um, copy and pasting multiple uh, multiple posts on different pages so this uh, your message contains may block your uh, block as well because uh, uh, this is also connected for your URL uh, for your your links that being getting banned um, if you keep posting about your your opportunity links or about the links that you any links that you have you keep doing that one and people start to to report also or hide what you're posting because they don't like that or you you, you are tagging people with your links that they don't like that and report that as well so you may not be able to use your link so it will get blocked by Facebook so that's one thing or another thing that you don't want to to be under with all right okay so um, again if you want to know more about Facebook jail I'm gonna leave a, a a link down in this video you can watch a full training about Facebook jail and if you want to know also about how to generate leads online and different kind of marketing strategies as well that you can choose besides from Facebook um, there's also a link in here and I would like to get connected with you um, reach me out in facebook.com forward slash Kirk Liana and if you get value out of this training feel free to share and like and comment and again, thank you for watching, and thank you once. Uh, thank you for your thank you for your time being with me right now. So have a great day, and let's do and rock it.